methods in magic on evoking intelligences and planetary embassies. What is an intelligence? It is a spirit that is pertaining to a nature of a given sphere, for example the sphere of Jupiter. So, to count the gods, intelligences and spirits, the genii of the earth and planetary spheres, the luminaries and moons, their octaves, hells and heavens, dimensions and palaces is an almost impossible task. It is like counting the stars in The Little Prince by Antoine de saint exupery by a businessman who thinks he owns them. So if we remember this walk, we should remember the lantern lighter of The Little Prince, who is a hermit whose work is relentless, but in its futility has a team that sustains the spectacle. So let me be the lamplighter that starts this new chapter, though with death I give so that you may give to others. With all due respect, I once tried to calculate the number of spirits that populate the aforementioned worlds, and then concluded that this is a disgrace to my friends, unsanctifying them. It is another mystery of the sacred, it never ceases to be so, but when it is vulgarized in the human mind, it withdraws. Like an etheric unicorn, imaginary, even touched by a mortal human, it disappears. Not from the world, but from the mind and soul of the offender who com committed such an offense. O oh, you blind minds of mortals, you could participate in this great spectacle if you had not turned your spiritual eye away from the great expanse of the divine. The gods are not to blame, it is your world and you have made it your own by an act of violence against Pimandrian rule, Pimander, Corpus Hermeticum. First the gods, then the world to take care of, then your mortal kind. How you make your laws is up to you, the gods will not interfere. It is the continuous rise to the divine that makes a mortal shine. In the golden era of the Wu and Shi in China, the magicians, sorcerers and shamans, for example, the tradition and honor given to the heavens was strong and appreciated by many people, but the legendary times are long gone and only a few call with perseverance, although people point out to them that when they pursue, that what they pursue is but a fantasy, little more than a delusion, an eccentricity, an insanity, though they are blinded and desensitized by the forces that keep such pursuits in check, so that they have a firm grip on human ignorance and memory. To the point, there are many traditions in a discipline called theurgy by some, which has survived from ancient times through the Middle Ages to modern times. It is practiced by some respected people who have not lost all hope and who work with these spirits, not for personal gain, but to transfer the celestial realms to themselves and to incarnate portions of these essences to resist delusion and broadcast these realizations upon the terrestrial stage and other mortal kin. There are many methods to invoke the intelligences of this sphere with or without additional amplifiers, be it scents, ointments, rituals, certain plants, places with their genius loci, consecrated areas, hours and days, astralistic setting, mediating entities, writings, words, prayers, gnosis, aritos, silent speech, spirit languages. Hmm. But in the first place, the temple of the gods is within the artifacts, artifexa, that is the only temple of the deities, is the magician, the epopteion, the seer, da da, all the change happens. I usually use two simple techniques. One is a performative art, a dance offering, a ritual offering, a ceremonial offering, the invocation of an illusion that is a gesture of gratitude to give something of mine to the powers that be, even if at the cost of sacrificing my whole life at the altars of the gods. The other is more complex, requiring focused concentration and samadhi-like sharp states that I call void work, pulling myself out of phenomenal states and then focusing my attention on the appropriate spheres and stars that correspond to my intention, sometimes rising from a temple into the stars that I have imagined and built for this very purpose, an ethereal temple. I can assume that the effect is almost immediate, or it takes a few minutes when the planetary sphere is above the horizon. The astral occult optics of the Arabs, for example Al-Kindi, and the theory of rays is useful here. 
What we see is what we work with, with invisible, take my word for it. It is either a question of trust, or wise, argumented, reasoned faith that is based on structured and splendid theology. We can combine it with the correct hours and days determined by the planets because respect is given to some traditions. But what is an accurate and true calculation of the correct time and day is another aspect. For example, when Mars is above in the eighth divine house, strengthened by constellations and stars that have their own natures and mediated by the moon and the lunar houses, which are often ignored and should not be, we begin our walk. Lunar astrology is often forgotten. Let me remind you of the work of Alexander Volwin. Oh, hello, kitten soul. From the 1930s, which is a good source. We can perform a dance, sing and chant. We can salute the salient dancers of ancient Rome. We can use all our knowledge for a purpose. We can use gestures of restrained aggression. We can call for warrior skills in the gigantomachia, warlike patience and wisdom. Restraint of color and aggression, imprint a warlike spirit in these Salian dances that shakes its ancilia that is perfectly clear and uses aggression rarely, only when necessary, and is resilient and tough for most of the time. Then, then I see a bright, I've seen a bright red ghost when I was writing this, flashing in the sky, or a winged warrior in the red, the embassies, the ambassadors are greeted. The diplomatic affairs well received from the magician, by the magician. Do not call the embassies if you have no vision and no idea of what you want. Never call spirits if you don't know what you want to do. Some spirits can be deceivers or tricksters and give you gifts for which you are not prepared to receive or play on your delusions and ignorance. You are at the mercy of the intelligences and it is up to them to decide if they want to work with you. What is of higher intelligence cannot be bound as some idiotes at the Greek unwise magicians imagine. It is always free. Rather, you become the plating of a demonic intelligence that allows you to shuttle the soul of a familiar to fool you into a sense of control and power. Often wise, it happens with inflations and megalomania. What is important here, do not fall for religion. Religion is a slaughterhouse for the freedom of heaven a blindfolded deception for mortals who do not have sharp enough minds to observe with keenness the diversity of nature and discernment. Religion is an indispensable decoy for knowledge. By this I mean the non-solar religions, the Abrahamic ones. In the case of the latter, realization may be found, but these religions have always fought their mystics, magicians and seers as something contesting the primacy of the one so-called savior. Discarding them as heretics for destruction. Pater Liber, Mater Victoria. What religions men have created in defiance of heaven is ignored by the great spheres of the celestial men. Like a lion acting according to its nature, the planetary intelligences walk in harmony with the nature of these planets. The intelligences of Mars will be walking with natures pertaining to Mars, that of Jupiter to Jupiter, Saturn to Saturn, Venus to Venus. You need to research this, you need to experience it first hand. Hmm. Get to know the nature and the purpose will follow. The Jamblichian dictum has thus come true. Theology, religion and philosophy are all man-made. The eternal gods never. Do not discard the wisdom that religious traditions convey. Do not discard the techniques that they have to offer, but seek wisely and discerningly both attributes grow with experience. All right? Whenever you encounter religious illusions and impostors, cast them off as veils that seek to blind and cage you. How many demonic illusions may be created of Virgin Marys and flying Jesus is just, just to induce mass psychosis and mock those people. For example, in Balance Pitel, there was a mass sighting of Virgin Mary flying. It was caused by Sida, one of the ancient spirits of Ireland that wanted to trick those people for a while and play with their belief systems. A little spirit. Mm -hmm. Whenever the truth comes upon you, it is irreligious, irreligious, and gives freely from the treasury of the gods. Do gods believe human belief systems, mortal belief systems, they are objective, impassionate powers. 
Make your own religion from the experiences you gather. Religere means something that delimits the sacred. Hermeneion is both the act of interpretation and the creation of the boundaries. Heuristics is the machine of operation that you build in your magic. Go now equipped with this knowledge and act with reason, beauty, acumen and purpose. Thank you.